I apologize, Madam Vice President, but that young man, who is maybe the same age as you and possibly a few years older, has been requesting your help now for three to five years through your offices before you became the Madam Vice President that you are today. And what you're saying now is that it doesn't matter that he is being harmed, sexually assaulted, physically attacked, and actually demoralized by your police force. What you're saying is, oh, well, it's just one more life to the cause. And isn't that interesting? That there are people that you'll tout and you'll put on your website, you'll put on your Facebook, and you'll be okay with. But what you'll say is, he's going to get killed. Yeah, because you're not doing your job. The liar in you is, I don't have to fix this right now. And maybe God expects you, demands of you to fix this. But here's what I can tell you about people who lie to themselves about who has the right to live, who has the right to thrive, who has the right to not be here anymore, that you've just created a civil war that you'll never win. There is a war coming to America, and we know that Trump has openly funded it, engaged it, and shown it. The January incident last year proves that people are tired of liars in government. But openly, the people that are still reeling in shock over the misbehavior of others have not been paying attention. They've been naive in their walk.